Mother Hulda, or Frau Hall, is a goddess in ancient Germanic beliefs, but was later lost. Although it is also a and quat, sister and quat, branch of the, the divine system and mythological stories of the Germans in Central Europe and the Anglo-Saxons in the British Isles have been greatly eroded. People Don and Number 39. T really know what this goddess represents. They only know that she often spins yarn and her festival takes place in the middle of winter, the coldest time and the space is full of snow and ice. She is also known as a powerful goddess and has the ability to connect with the spirit world. The only remaining story about her is a German fairy tale collected by the brothers. The story is about a family where a woman lived with her two daughters. I am a stepchild who is treated cruelly. You are a biological child who is pampered. One day, the older sister was spinning yarn when she accidentally dropped the spinning wheel into the well. Afraid of being scolded, she jumped into the well to retrieve the spinning wheel. Unexpectedly, she was lost in a spirit world, with a large field. A loaf of bread in the oven begged her to take it out so it wouldn't and hash 39. T burn. She happily helped the loaf of bread. An apple tree laden with fruit asked her to pick them from the basket. She happily filled the basket with them before moving on. Then she came to a house where Frau Hall lived. She is a goddess responsible for creating snowflakes in the world by shaking blankets out of windows. She asked the girl to do it every day, and she happily helped her day after day. Some time later, the girl missed home and asked her grandmother to let her return. Frau Hall gave her the spinning wheel in return, then made the gold fall on her as she passed through the door. The older sister returned with a pile of gold amid the hatred and jealousy of her stepmother and daughter. So, when mother and daughter found out about it, they immediately tried to imitate it to get more gold. The evil sister jumped into the well and also went to the spirit world, but she did not help the loaf of bread, nor did she help the apples. Coming to Frau Hall and number 39's house, she gave her a job, but she was also superficial and lazy. Finally, without waiting for her to ask to go home, Frau Hall chased her away and covered her body with tar as she passed through the gate. And quat, that is the price for being lazy and bad, and quat, Frau Hall said. In French fairy tales, there is a story with a similar motif recorded by Charles Perrault. They were also two sisters with different fathers, but the kind sister gave the old woman water to drink, while the ugly and narrow-minded sister said disparaging words about the old woman. The old woman showed her true form as a fairy. To her younger sister, she gave words that turned flowers into pearls, and to her older sister, she spoke words like frogs and snakes. Sound familiar? That is the story and quat. O oh Prince, please forgive my sister who is under the curse and quat. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.